SLP Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be testing this cheap machete with this new two-handed handle and if it survives the testing we will make it more pretty and refined and if it doesn't survive then we didn't do all the extra work for nothing. So first I think I will have to sharpen it a bit more and then it will be ready for its first cut. But so far after the glue has dried the handle construction feels sturdy and it feels like it can take a little bit of abuse but we shall see in the tests to come. The sharpening is done and the edge is a little bit more honed this time. Plus with the addition of two-handed handle I think we'll have no problem passing through water bottles cleanly. So much easier to cut with a two-handed version of this machete. The cuts are also cleaner. So far we've never been able to cut a water ball that's already been cut. So now we shall see if it can be done with this two-handed version of the machete. As you can see no problem, it was even cleaner than the first one and I'm super happy how this machete turned out, it's so much fun to use. Let's now try filling up only this part of the bottle and cutting it. This will now be even harder to cut because it only has half of the weight that it used to have when it was full. Maybe try a horizontal cut. No, here's where I cut it. It wasn't enough to go through the bottle. Either the edge alignment was off or something else. Or maybe I used too little force or something similar. But the point is it didn't go through. Maybe give it another try. Nope, it's either not possible with this machete or with my technique. We're going to make it a little bit more user friendly and then try cutting some water bottles to see if that helps a little bit. Here is the machete handle unfinished and with the rope taken off. So now we're going to make it a little bit more pretty and try testing it again. Hitting it with the axe probably isn't the best option, but it is the fastest and also provides us an additional test for this handle.
the handle is now so much more comfortable but i'm not finished yet i'm going to sand it down with a piece of sandpaper and then it will be smooth and flush you can now clearly see these three pins of which the middle one is the worst and here they are on the other side here is where the handle cracked but when we sand this all down it will be so much smoother and so much user friendly and lively in the hand and i can't wait Since this is a no thrusting blade, I didn't put any guards or any guard here. So you should be careful when you are sanding it like this, that your hand doesn't jump up to the blade. And also luckily this half portion of the blade isn't sharp, so that's not a problem. Well, these handle scales now look so much more appealing to the eye and they're so much more comfortable, so much better than before. So what are we waiting for? Let's go cut some water bottles. Let's try another one. And the last cut of the day. Cutting with the new handle was a pleasure, as was cutting with the old one, but this is also better, so much better. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching, I hope you found this video entertaining. If you liked it, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.